Let's talk about my old animation series called Crystal Keepers, but I'm going to put them into parts. So let's start. Name of the series. So in my old version of the series name, it was Feral Dogs, but then I changed it into Crystal's Keepers because it made more sense at the time to my young self. Storyline. The original storyline for the series was not original at all. Back then I was young and I was falling in love with this series called Feral Pride. As you guys probably know the series, I thought that it would be okay to copy the story of the series and sadly I got away with it. And because of that I kept doing it, every time, I found a new series, I fall in love with it, and, every time I put it into my series and soon after it would make no sense at all. There would be so many different stories and plot in the series, it was getting crazy. Character designs. A lot of the characters are not even real creative because all I did was keep the design of the characters to the real life dogs that I had in the past. But some of the characters I made, the ones that are real was, Moose, Molly, Victoria, Grand, and Runner Up, and the rest was made by me. The love interests. The character's love interest was a mess, so Moose and Molly was for some reason a thing. In the old series Moose is a pup and Molly is an adult, just like in the reboot. And the story for them is pretty much the same in the reboot, except in the reboot they are siblings. Zuma was in love with a female character named Azula. Back then I support the community. Grand and Runner was together just like the in the reboot. But this time Running was the villain and was a bad father to his pups. And a bad mate to Grand. Episodes. There are 13 episodes of my old series. A lot of the episodes that I hate. And that there are some that are okay. Like episode 9 is one of my favorite. The episode are not long. They are short. They are about 2 to 5 minutes long and they were always a rush and not slow down and take your time. Episodes. Okay, now let's talk about the reboot and after that we can see what may make it in the reboot. Name of the series. As you guys already know that the series reboot is called Keepers of LGO Secrets, and now you also know that in the old series it was called Crystal Keepers. The reason why I named it Keepers of LGO Secrets was because I wanted it to be interesting. Something that makes sense. Storyline. Back then I never thought of making a storyline or a script for my old series. But now that I have friends that are more familiar of making series, they help me a lot. And now I have a script for the series and everything else. Character designs. Runner and Victoria are the only ones that kept their designs from the old series and the others like Moose, Molly, and some of the others was made by me and my top designer that is named Awesome Wolf. Love interests. Molly and Moose are siblings, as you might have seen some of my map parts. Moose is with a poodle. The poodle is named Sugar. Grand and Runner are mates and Runner is not evil in the reboot. Zuma is not in love with another female, because this reboot is not supporting the community, for Molly. I'm still not sure if I want her to have a love interest or not. Episodes. The reboot only has three episodes right now and I'm currently working on episode four. The episodes are about seven to six minutes long, much longer than the old series, and the episodes makes a bit more sense this time. What I might take from the old series to the new series. Okay so what I might put in the new reboot from the old one is, Molly losing her memory. I will bring back the character Onyx, and her guard, Rise the old blind female dog, and the white pug, and I might bring Azula back. But instead of her being a female, I will make her a male, and he might be Zuma's lover. I might bring back Echo but might have her be redesigned. I might also bring back Butterscotch the blind Great Dane and have her be redesigned too. What I might not put in the reboot, from the old series. Talking animals that are herbivores, animals having some kind of element powers, crystals that has powers, the three-headed dogs, the characters go to different universes. What I want to put in the reboot, but I, don't know how it will work. Zuma being a hippogriff curse to be a little dog, three-headed dog, and the monsters that are called the Night Walkers. What character of the old series has changed in the reboot? Moose has a better design now and has the same personality as he did in the old series. Molly also has a new design and has a better personality. Grand keeps her design. She just has it fixed a little bit and she has the same personality. Runner is not evil and his design is different. Elk is a female and has been redesigned and is not gay and is the daughter of Grand and Runner. Zuma has the same color palette but is redesigned and is not a lesbian. She still has her personality that she had in the past. Leo is not bisexual and has a different design now and he has a better personality than the past. Fox the main wolf has a new design and name 
but she still has the same personality. Spot is a different breed of dog now, she still has her personality, and she is still in love with Sheba. Sheba is now a snow leopard, he still has his personality, and he still is in love with Spot. What animation series I copied, and what the ones I like from my old series. Episode 1 was a copy from Feral Pride, but it has some good memories of my voice actors. Episode 2 is a copy from, the animation series called Azure Howl, and I hate this episode, there are so many mistakes in it, Moose somehow, knows what his mom looks like, Grand and Moose some reason needing to go to Zoe, instead of finding someone closer to them, Episode 3 still copying Azure Howl, and stealing Feral Pride's characters, and a chicken that talks to them, Episode 4 yay, more copying from Azure Howl, this is just really bad, you can easily see that it's not my, by the animation of the running. Episode 6 Oh look, my younger self finally had a, idea instead of copying, but this is nothing, but a rush. Episode 7 Some lore of what happened to Zuma, this is not really a bad episode. Episode 8 I'm not sure why, Zuma and Victoria, had to go with Molly, they didn't have a reason to go with her. Episode 9 This is my favorite episode, love the voice acting, and the idea. Episode 10 this episode was copied by an animated series called, Alcatraz, and a, webcomic, called Home. Episode 11. This episode was funny, but again it's a copy of the webcomic, called Home. Episode 12. This episode is called, Copying Because You Don't Have Anything Else To Do, The Comic Home, Again and the Animation Series, called Dragon Blood. Episode 13. Nothing But a Copy Of, The Comic Home. But I like that my art style has changed since the last episode. Crystal Keeper is now 4 years old since I started. The series starts in the year 2019 and ended in the year 2022. Because of this series I have made amazing memories and friends on the journey, and I want to say thank you. That is all, please comment down below, who and what, should I take from the old series to the reboot. And thank you for everything.